So here we have the tube. It's been slimed and I ran over a huge nail commuting home about 15 miles total distance on the street. I tried to pump it up because there was already slime. It wouldn't seal. Tried to patch the holes. There ended up being multiple holes that I didn't see initially. So I patched the outer one and then put the tube back in, remounted the tire, pumped everything back up, still wasn't holding. Took the tube back out and there was two more holes on the underside as well. So the nail punctured all the way through the tire, through the tube on the top and the bottom. It was pretty gnarly. Put in more slime, about four more pumps. And after I did that, the top patch wasn't holding anymore. Something weird about slime and patching tubes, at least in my experience, it's not the best. I scuffed it up, I added the, the vulcanizing solution, put the rubber patch on, and I think it has something to do with when you pump the tube back up and it has slime inside that uh, it can kind of seep through. And since slime is really slippery, I think it kind of undoes patches and this patch started leaking. I've had that happen multiple times. So two hours later, or however long it took, not two hours, but at least a half an hour or more, um, this thing is garbage and I'm sick of it. So I'm tossing this into the garbage and we are going to try out the, this is the Tannis Armor. Pretty cool stuff. It's uh, basically a foam layer between the tube on the inside and your tire on the outside. So I watched a quick YouTube video. I haven't done this installation before, but I think the gist of it is, it says right here, easy setup, puncture protection, rim protection, pinch flat, sidewall, vibration dampening, anti-squirm, tire bump protection. Here's the back of the box. And so this one fits up to 27.5 by two and a half max width. This is a 2.8, not exactly sure how that's gonna pan out, but I figure it's better than nothing and I'm just sick of getting flats. This is a Smart Sam performance line. It has a super thin uh, rubber to it. It's not very durable, but I like this tire because, well, I had it, it was free and it's fast rolling. And this bike is going on a street bike, but I want to go pretty quick on the street and well smooth. So I'm gonna stick with this tire and do my first attempt at a tennis installation. Tennis instructions for some reason tell you to put the tube in the foam core first and then mount it onto the rim, but I found that it was easier to have the tire be seated onto the rim on one side first and then the armor core be inserted after that and then the tube last. You also want to make sure to check the inner lining between the tube and the core to make sure there's no debris, nothing that'll puncture the tube from the inside um, just in case. And now I am seating the bead of the tire onto the rim. A little bit more difficult with uh, the foam core but not too bad. I also noticed I got a little bit of a ding in the rim from riding on it when it was flat. One cool thing about the armor is you can ride on it with a completely flat tube. They recommend up to about 10 kilometers with no damage to your rim. So that about wraps it up with the Tannis armor. We're really excited about this product. A lot of use cases if you don't have tubeless ready tires and you're needing something that'll give you extra protection if slime or sealant isn't working out for you. This could be a viable alternative to ride your bike around town without having to worry about getting punctures or flats or pinch flats, things like that. We'll circle back in the future with a more long-term review, but for now, that's about it. Mahalo for watching.